Ocala is not the only place where you can find affordable and new construction properties free of associations. On today's video, I drove myself to all over Florida to looking for the best options for you, and I find myself in Sea Winds of Florida, a new strategic location, convenience for Tampa, Miami, and Orlando, and I'm the first realtor showcasing properties here in Sea Winds, Florida. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to a new tour. My name is Marilyn Caldera. You can call me Margie. And if this is your first time in this channel family, my mission is to show you all of the new construction projects, communities and new communities as I did today, education about real estate, the best incentives, and some good result properties because why not? There are opportunities out there as well. So if this sounds like you, you're interested in helping you to go into the real estate process and make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and call me for more information. On today's video, I'm in Sebring, Florida, and we are approximately two hours from Orlando, two hours from Miami, and two hours from Tampa, which means we are literally in the middle of the big three cities. From here, we are just eight minutes from the Highway 27. And if you're familiar with the highway, in Central Florida has pretty much everything over there. You will have a national and local restaurants, you will have a supermarket, you will have hospitals, you will have beauty salon, many options and shopping centers and retails as well, which means that you will have opportunities to work in the area if you're looking for a job, about this a beauty property corner lot option is a three bedrooms, a two bathrooms, a two car garage, an extended driveway as you can appreciate with almost a 1400 is a square feet sitting in a quarter or an acre lot free of associations, no HOA, no CDD, and also with public water. Now let's go inside to start this new tour. Okay, now, dear family, we are inside of this new construction product. Okay, remember, in a new total area, Severance, Florida, with affordable prices below 300000 Now, as soon as we step in this property, what we'll have immediately is an open concept, an open layout. Like I told you in different videos, this is the more motor style nowadays for new construction properties okay if you want something like a uh, you know like split for plans you can do that later on but the majority of the properties nowadays are most like this as soon as we're stepping into this door we will have the open space immediately that will be part of my living room or living area we have right here like double windows with double panel that will help you to decrease your energy bill every single month and the other good part is we have the access or the view to the driveway of the property from here you can appreciate that we have a decent space to set up or couch or you know like entry table right here your entertainment center with the cable connected in to this corner another important factor to uh, point out is the luxury vinyl for plant is totally water and it's crash resistant and also we have the coach lighting in this section okay continuing in just as straight in front of me then we have the dining section okay from here guys you don't even appreciate this space that you can play with so we have approximately you know a decent space to accommodate or sit up to four people i will say but what i really enjoy is that the amount of natural light we have in this environment provided from the sliding doors to this side and the double windows and the other side so we have you know, like pendant lighting right here, I think it's a little short, so you have the opportunity to go like quite a little bit more. Then we have the access to the patio that we will take a look in a little bit, but then I will switch immediately to the right side to enjoy this nice kitchen. 
And now this is gonna be my space, my area for the kitchen. I really love all the like, combination that they did in this uh, property. So we have right here, granny countertop in the whole space. This is gonna be the main character in uh, the kitchen, I will say. So you have up to four spots, as you can appreciate right here, okay? So you have up to four spots here that you can use for your breakfast nook, okay? Just to enjoy, talk with your uh, family, friends, and at the same time, do your own due diligence here in the kitchen. You have the undermount sink right here with an ample space. I will say really decent in ample space, plus the extended in a large island. We have also the cabinets, okay? The white cabinets. Uh, Right here, I don't see that we have the soft touch, but this is something that you definitely uh, can upgrade later on. I don't think this is a break deal for me, particularly. There's all the things that makes more sense. But as you can appreciate, we have great space in all of these areas, um, granny countertop. We have even more cabinets all of this section, okay? And then, of course, the property comes up with all of the stainless steel appliances. And in this case, we have the full-size fridge. We have also the dishwasher, the stove just in front of me, and the microwave. Nobody is uh, paying me for this extra commercial, but I will say this brand is one of the best in the market. So you will see that you have extending up to 10 years of guarantee with just with a manufacturing company without talking about the uh, warranty that the builder itself it will provide to you guys. So this is gonna be pretty much my area, a bunch of coach lighting in the ceiling, okay? Even more space, and don't even think about this is gonna be the pantry. Actually, the pantry is just right here. We have accordion doors, and then we have the wolf shelf right here, okay? We have three spots. I know it's not really huge, but it's still decent. We have the accordion doors right here, I will say, that is a good design for it. And this is pretty much the whole space for the kitchen. Now let's uh, go to the other section of this uh, full video. From here, we will have uh, the two guest bedrooms and the shared bathroom. Let's get started with the front of me right now. This uh, space is gonna be pretty similar to the majority of the new construction properties nowadays. It's gonna be a decent space for a guest bedroom and we will have enough area for a queen side bed, okay? Uh, the other part that I really like about this uh, particular builder is they have those kind of a custom closet right here. So you have uh, this space that you can improve even more or just trying to do another like wraps into those other areas and just trying to get more storage space there for you. But other than that, we will have the single windows, the ample ones, okay? The, the ample one, not the small uh, single windows just in front of me providing natural light in this uh, section with the same coach lighting. Okay, continuing into the same section now, the next door will be the shared bathroom to my right side. Let's step inside of this and you will see right here we are in another very nice area. We have the bathtub that comes along with this shared bathroom uh, and they have the majority of the area with ceramic tile. Okay, I really like the combination of the blue. The navy blue is one of my colors as you know. Uh, and in this section and the other part is just the fact that you have the small windows I don't know if you really like this as windows just attack in the comments if you really enjoy these type of finishes for me I always appreciate trying to have the extra little line and also take a look at the custom cabinets and a custom vanity okay you can see how ample and spacious are those uh, cabinets but each uh, portion totally divided those super convenience and really functional nowadays and then we have also the motor vanity right here with the mirror and the handle okay and then uh, to the right side i have the last i guess veteran of today's video it's gonna be a different facing entrance of the window side but you can appreciate how big an impulse those windows are right the same form the same style for the lighting in the closet okay and then we will step in into the next section of this area which is uh, the laundry immediately here you will have the door that will get the privacy we have to the left side the accordion door to the ac unit okay so you can uh, see here 
everything looks clean, nice, a good condition, decent condition. And then if I keep walking straight, I will have the hooks for the wash and dry machine. But not only that, we also have the sink. In every new construction property, I get so much excitement when I see these uh, type of like uh, extra features, always appreciate to do or like manual cleaning so we don't have to use the rest of the sinks and you know, the kitchen or the bathrooms. Uh, but here is uh, so much uh, convenience and also functional. So this property has the extra um, the detail that comes a lot for me. The same finishes in the floor and to the right side behind this door is the electrical panel and just in front of me the double car garage the spacious double car garage right here we have the garage opener in the top of the ceiling and also we have the water here and in this insane area as well okay so now let's move out to the other side of the property completely aside of from this section we're stepping then into my primary suite okay with all of the privacy that you need and you want, you have here the extended area that you can accommodate your key inside bed with no problem at all. Side tables, I love and enjoy those small windows. For me, are super cute, costly, but also they will bring that natural light that will flow the whole environment in this bedroom. In front of me are the outlets for cable and internet in case that you want to set up your entertainment center or little uh, TV out there. But you have the input window as well to the right side and then the access to the entry pattern in the walk-in closet just in front of you. Okay, so let's keep going into this tour in this uh, section. So right here, just to show you how ample and is a patient is it this walk-in closet. Even though this uh, property isn't a huge property, has a nice good uh, distribution because we have, look at this, this all pays for the walk-in closet. Of course, they have those uh, custom areas right here. You have one here, you have the other just in front of me. And then you can even improve the area and take advantage of this uh, whole completely section. For me, it's just a great opportunity to have have your clothing to this side and to your shoes into the other side it's just perfect and convenient at the same time lastly we have the inner suite bathroom from here we have a pretty much the same finishes as the other shared bathroom we have the double scene with the custom cabinets and in the same separation Moreover, what I want to talk about this is we don't have the whole section completely attached, okay? It's like two like um, individual things for each side, but you will have your mirrors and everything that you need, also your handles right here. So I really enjoy this setup, a little different, but is it good to go? From here, we have the brand new toilet, but also we have the walk-in shower. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how nice is this area because we have the glass shower door. We have the sliding doors right here. Um, and then we have a good space to walk around. And in this station, we have ceramic tiles on the floor. We have ceramic tiles and the whole completely area. Important to mention, that is not completely up to the top. You can improve that if you want, but as it is, it looks nice. I really like the ceramic backsplash right here, okay? I would prefer to have the same in both bathroom, but it's totally optional. My main focus always is the principal suite. And then we have the uh, the windows, exactly same detail as the other uh, badger, but it's always nicer to have the extra lighting. And just to finish at this section, I just wanted to point out the extra space here in case that you wanted to, you know, like uh, handle your uh, towels, you know how annoying is don't find a place where you can uh, you know like handle your towels or either whatever other item that you want to let them get dry so you can do that here okay it's gonna be super convenient in this space over there we finished inside and now we will move ahead to the backyard All right, all right, family, now we are outside, okay? And this is gonna be pretty much your concrete lab in case that you want to build in the future your uh, screening 
Cobra Lanai. Also, this is gonna be pretty much your area, your patio, your backyard in case that you want to build a pool in the future as well. Remember, you don't have association here, so you can play with your imagination, creativity, do whatever you want in this piece of land. So your property line is gonna be all the way to the corner, so you will have all of this space that is a little hard for me to walk in those hills to show you exactly what is gonna be your area, but you can see you have still more space all the way to the right, okay, to fence at the area, get all of the privacy that you want and you need. So this property is built in concrete and stucco. The whole exterior, we have shingles and the roof. We have a safety tent, yes, we have in front of the property. And also we have a public water, okay? You are in a corner lot, so you won't have neighbors in the other side. But this is gonna be the babies of today's video, guys. So let's go inside to talk about the numbers, how much you had to bring to buy this property in the final price. Okay, family, now we are inside and ready for the numbers. Remember, this property has a three bedrooms, a two bedrooms, two car garage, an extended driveway where you can park up to six uh, cars, plus a quarter an acre lot free of associations. Now, the asking price for this property in Severance is 299000 okay? And of course, this seller will provide closing costs. And if he doesn't want to provide the closing costs, I want to make sure to do the best negotiations for you. Now, let's jump in the numbers. Okay, dear buyers, if you're looking to purchase this property with uh, the minimum down payment, which is a 3.5% down payment remember this is the most common program for first-time buyers you have to bring it ten thousand four hundred and sixty five dollars okay you have some conditions to qualify for this type of program you will have the pmi the homeowner's insurance should be approximately a thousand two hundred or a thousand per year and also in terms of the taxes is going to be approximately 1.2 percent which is three thousand four hundred per year okay then your mortgage monthly payment in an average situation will be something like this. The other great news is that you can qualify for a USDA program. USDA program is a government loan that allows you to purchase at this or whatever property in this uh, location with a 0% and down payment and 0% PMI without being a veteran. So you have both opportunities here, veteran or USDA can purchase this property with a 0% in each down payment and a PMI. Then with your interest rates in the taxes and insurance, your mortgage money payment will be something like this. case that you couldn't qualify with the government loans, which is our, the FHA, the VA, or USDA loan, you have the conventional programs, okay? It started with a 5% down payment for primary residents, okay? You can purchase this property with approximately $14,915, this exactly same property, okay? Remember, you have some conditions uh, to meet in order to qualify for a primary resident. You have to live and work no more than 100 miles apart. And that applies for all of the uh, primary resident options, okay? And then with the PMI, because you have to pay the PMI, the taxes, uh, the insurance, and your rates, which is approximately between 7 to 8%, depending on your credit score, your mortgage monthly payment will be something like this. And in case that you're planning to retire in the next uh, three, four, 10 years, but you say, Margie, you know what? I want to buy a property now. Okay, rent them out. 
and then moving, um, you know, in the next three, four years. But at the same time, I would like to love the price. It's a great idea because you will love those prices that won't be the same, I guarantee you, in three or four years. You can come here and play with different options. First, with the 10% down payment, which is gonna be roughly 30,000 to purchase this property, you will still have to pay PMI. That's the only part, it's gonna be 100, 200, 300, depending on your credit score, of course, super important. Uh, but you will have you know, less money to win, it's gonna be 30,000 as I mentioned before, or you can go up to 15,000 to do that extra principal to your property. Or the best case scenario for me is a 20% down payment. I know it's almost 60,000. It's gonna be, you know, more uh, cash to bring, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be cash for your property. So if you have that money, I highly recommend it to do 20% instead of 10 or 15, okay? Because you won't have to pay PMI, you will avoid that extra charge per month. And if that is the case, your mortgage money payment will be something like this. This is how we end our video, guys. Dear family, for buyers, for investors, for sellers, remember that I'm here, you real estate expert, coach in real estate, also ready to help you in any transaction that you're interested in, okay? This is what I do every single day of my life. Go all over to Florida to looking for the best options for you and even for sellers to make the best of marketing strategy to get the best value in price in the market along with so many tools that I have as a BPO to defend the value in front of the appraisers. And nowadays the market is really changing every single day. And for all of my buyers, remember that I hear you can contact me and communicate directly for the phone call or even for a calendar link. If you wanna go to a soon, I'm ready to help you. Go to my website or even download my app to just search and looking for the best opportunities in the market for you. Remember that I'm here for you anytime, so don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. I'll see you in the next video, dear family. Ciao, ciao.